Hello again. Thought I'd give you a quick update on where things are going in Agony Classroom right now. First, later on today, you're going to see the email. It's here. It's October 1st and the Pumpkin Ag Magazine. Don't be sending orders in until you get the official photocopy. You can remember, you can either fax this, you can email Carol at charms garmin so charms garmin at ilfb.org, to get your Pumpkin Ag Magazine. Should take day and a half, two days for those to two days to, for those to come in via UPS. Next, I ask you to save your pumpkin expenses. One of the things that that the foundation does is they they go out and they request grants. And one of the new grants that we got for pumpkin was to show that, that at the county level, you guys are spending money on this as well. Right now, I've got seven counties that have shared a thousand dollars worth of expenses. I need to be able to prove $5,000 worth of expenses, so if seven have already spent $1,000, if I could get the rest of you, the other, the other 63 of you, to come through with a couple expenses that you do with something related to pumpkins. Remember, these are not reimbursable items. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep track of this, keep a copy of the receipts, and share that with our funding sources. So please email those to me, or you can fax them to us as well, but you can email them to me. We're trying to move everything more toward electronic, so I'm always going to remind you, please update the coordinator directory. It's under coordinator under the uh, county uh, support forms. That's up there. We got a number of teacher grants in in the last day or so, so thank you very much for your help in promoting that. I want to share with you that on December the 8th, Sunday, December the 8th, Peggy Thomas, the author of Farmer George Plants a Nation, she's going to join us at the IAA annual meeting in downtown Chicago. She'll be there all Sunday. We'll have an autograph session, so we'll have new copies of the Farmer George paperback book available for $4.50, and she'll be there to sign them. Then that afternoon, we're having a special teacher seminar with Peggy Thomas at the Chicago Teacher Center. Pretty excited about that, so watch for that. If you are going to be at annual meeting, we're going to ask you to go and register as well. It's on Sunday afternoon. There's not a lot going on in annual meeting, so you could come and join us. Or if you know teachers that are going to be there, this should be fabulous. I'm really excited. Peggy Thomas asked me just to read the, the rough draft of her next book about Thomas Jefferson. So I can't wait until we have Thomas Jefferson, Farmer George, and the Lincoln stuff that we have put together, all pulled together for a grant experience. The Illinois Library Association Conference is coming up at the end of this month, October 31st to November 1st. We've already got the 2014 reading series uh, put together, and the, the theme this year is PAWS, P-A-W-S, PAWS to Read. So our spin on that is claws, paws, hooves, and wings, and things. So we're taking an animal livestock look at what goes on. You'll be getting a copy of this in the mail as well. Don't forget, as I flip the paper, your monthly reports are due online for all of September and all of August. Those are due by, uh, by October the 10th. Remember, you're going to submit in October for September and August. You're going to submit by November 10th for all of October. You're going to submit by December 10th for all of November. Then we'll, we'll what you teach in January, December and January, we'll submit in February, then again in March, then again in April. So if you take that a month at a time, those six times, and fill that out online, Remember, I only need the number of students and the number of teachers that you reached. We still are going to encourage you to fill out that other form and keep just for yourself. All right? So that's due October 10th. You've got nine days to get that, that thing filled out. Additionally, the Agony Classroom checks. There have been some minor adjustments. Some people have called in and the X's were just wrong. Remember, that's why I said it was... Uh, approximately. Uh, everybody is still at approximately the same number. Uh, I was able to round up and spend exactly $500,000.03. So I personally made the three cent contribution. So we've got that all coming in. We anticipate those checks being uh, mailed on or about October 15th. We're, we're, we're processing them. Trust me, you'll get an email about that and you'll know we'll post it on Facebook. A whole I'll be holding a half million dollars worth of checks. I'm pretty excited about that. Describing results, they're coming soon. 
Um, right now, Carol's uh, priority uh, was uh, making sure that this stuff is all ready to get your checks in the mail. So that's priority number one. Then, of course, pumpkin ag mags got dropped in there. So she's working on that. Scribing, all those big pieces of paper we've got, we've got reams of them. So she's working on it. You'll get those soon. Additionally, we'll be making an announcement of our Teacher of the Year and the Volunteer of the Year. Just so you know, we, I, we don't just pick those out of a hat. I submit those to other states. Other states actually judge our material. So they've been judging them, and I hope to have results back soon. Um, probably the next, uh, the next announcement will be uh, our Teacher results and our, and our Volunteer of the Year results. I'll, I'll plan on doing a video about that as well. And finally... The AFBF White Reinhardt Mini Grant, that is due October 15th as well. Typically we have five to seven counties that win the $500 award. Right now I've heard from two, Cook and Kendall County have both submitted theirs. Think about it, if there's something that you'd like to do that's due to me by October 15th. So make sure you get that in. All of this information is online under County Resources, under County Support System, so go there and pick that out. If you have any questions, you can be, be sure to call us, but be looking for your copy, your email about the Pumpkin Ag Mag. We're pretty excited about the new stuff, but be looking for that coming shortly.